Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add text to video in Filmora X or Filmora 10, whichever you like. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how you can add text to your video. Basically, if you have a title come up or someone's name appears on the screen, or you want to put a timestamp, like saying, hey, this is on January you know, 2021, you can actually add that to the video project you're working on. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get going, make sure you hit the like button on this video. It really helps out our channel. That's the thumbs up, not the other guy, just the thumbs up. Also hit the subscription and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos we put out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Please, and now what you want to do is open your Filmora software, which I already have open. And you want to open the project you want to work on, which I already did. And I figure you guys know where to go if you've already been working on a project. So once you're in there, now we want to add the text. The text isn't really called text in here. They call it titles. So if you go up to the top left of the screen next to media, I'm on media right now. There's audio up here and there's titles and we want titles. So click on titles. And then you're going to notice that it gives you quite a few choices on the side menu here on the left. You have titles, openers, lower third. And this one I'm going to do lower third. I had a um, someone who read the article, which I'll have the article linked down below for you. Um, they asked me a question of which, you know, how do you add like the, the date to the video project itself? And I wrote the article for that. So I'm going to do the how to video for you, too. So you're going to click the lower thirds for this video. And then let's pick this pick the top lower third default one it's pretty easy so click on it once just in the middle and it will select it and it will show you what it looks like over here in the view, the preview screen so it's right now it just has the def, you know, the default your title here makes sense this is fine so if you want to add this to your video project down here the video timeline you want to take your timeline marker here and move it to where you want it so if you want it in a certain spot like i'll say i want mine right here so if I want it right there, you can go up here and just hit the plus sign at the bottom right of the box. It makes it kind of easy. You can click on that. And that will add it directly where I'm at. So if I hit this, it's added to where I wanted it. So now it will appear on top of my video. But it's of course, it's white. And there's a white screen. That's hilarious. All right. So and there it is. So it is there. It's just not the right color yet. But that's OK. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Also, you can drag and drop, which is another way to do it. And always make sure your text titles, any text goes above the video line. Um, if it's not above it, then it will be hidden behind the video. It's kind of like layers. You got to keep the layer on top of the other layer. So that's how you do it. So keep it above the video line. So what we do is drag and drop. You just hold down the left mouse button and drag it to wherever you want. So you can drop it in the middle of it if you want to put a title in between a clip. That's great, but I want to put it above it. So we're going to put it on both ends, drop it. And there it is. Very simple to drag and drop. Easily, you can hit plus two, which adds it to it. As long as it knows where your, your timeline marker is, it will add it to wherever that spot is. So now we want to figure out how to change that to a different color, because obviously white's not working on white. White just disappears. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this, and it shows we already selected it. You can double-click this, which I like to do. I think it's the easiest way to get it. Double-click the box, and then it opens up this side panel up here on the left. And this is where you can change the font. The font size, make it bold, italic, you know, centered, whatever you want. So this is going to say JSON Sheffield. And actually, we want to change the color too. So I'm going to do that. And there's a text color right here. Pretty simple. You're going to click this. I want to make it black so we can see it. There it is. And so that shows you. See, what if you type in here will appear there. You can change the font size if you want to shrink it or whatever, you know, you like to do. You can also go over here to preset things so you can change the style. And if you add the style see what it does now now i'm pink my group my little girl would be excited about this color and then you can also just change different things it's really cool they have animation you can even mess with the animation of it so how it comes in so we can do like it comes up so if we added that so I double click it so if you double click it it will it will make it work now if you don't want that you can go back to no animation just double click the no animation at the top the presets are kind of fun to mess with i'm just going to go back to my original, of course, now I, I don't know. I'm going to change that color back to black. There it goes. Now we're back to what we want. So that's how you actually mess with the um, font and, you know, the animation of the, the text and stuff like that. So you can put anything in here. If you go scrolling down a little bit, there's other options. There's text spacing. There's line spacing. 
there's alignment. I don't mess with those at all because I really just want to make sure the words are right and the font is what I want. And you can mess with a couple of things. So you can go in here and just mess around and, and really mess with the text. But just to add the text, it's easy. So if you like, okay, let's see if this is the text you want on your video. You can actually go over here and hover your, so over the dotted line, hover your mouse, and it should come up with those little little arrows. If you can get those arrows, hold down your left mouse button, and you can drag this to wherever you want in your video clip. So where you want it to appear, which is very nice when you want to do it. So we're going to put that back. You can even um, change the duration of it. So how long will this text last? So let me show you something. Let me move this guy out of the way. He's in the way. Now, if we want this to be a longer, so we want the JSON shot to be able to last longer on the video. All you have to do is come down to the, the text box down here, the title box, and you can hover your mouse on the edge of it and hold down your left mouse and drag it. And so it will be there as long as I want. So you can do it the whole video if you wanted it to be. So that's what you do it there. Now, the duration, you could probably do that somewhere else, but I, I usually just do it on the, t on the timeline. It's a lot easier, I find. And then you can move this box anywhere you want by holding down the left mouse and just drag it. See, it's they don't make it very hard. So that's how you can actually add text to your video project and without any problem. I find this it's kind of fun. I mean, I do a lot of video editing for my brother and I have to add credits and people's names pop up. And this is what we this is what I use to do it. So the best thing is like if you want animations fun because you can have the text come in differently or any way you want it. So this, that's it. That's how easy it is. I don't want to make it too confusing for you, but it is a very cool feature on Filmora to use when you're doing your video projects. It really gives it more professionalism, I would call it, because really videos come to life when you can add animations and text coming in and all that. So there you go, guys. That is how you add text to your Filmora video project. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.